let me let me say this, and, I, and let me see if you agree with me on this. It, it seems like uh, like as far as integrity or humility or modesty, that's just something that uh, it probably comes from our parents, or, or maybe some of us genetic, or some of us personality based, or whatever. But the way I view you, I tend to see you as one of these sort of rare, um, just examples of uh, of competitive fire. You know, like 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 someone like Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan, like the competition is what's in the center of it. Fame and anything else that might happen is almost like a like a byproduct of a of a, you know, of like an inborn drive, you know. Yeah. And so yeah. like I, I've always I always felt like, if you know, if like if it's in a NASCAR or an Indy car on a bicycle or if you and I like we're walking out of SoCo at the same time and our cars were across the parking lot, and we were like, I'll race you to the car like the, it would be the exact same. <laughs> It would be the exact same thing inside you that's just like, I gotta get it, you know? And yeah. if, like, if you get it every day over and over again and, and you push yourself and you go through all the, the, the trials and tribulations of it and, and you somehow get through it in one piece as you have, uh, it, it seems like fame is just sort of something that, that happens um, kind of in the periphery of, of that drive, you know? Yeah, and I would also add too, and I wonder, I've often wondered about both of your journeys with music and instruments you know, my, my competitiveness has really been with myself and for me to own what I do and how I do it. And, and again, because I wasn't winning for the longest time, this was kind of in the background of my mind of leaving the track, knowing that I did all that I could and trying to outperform myself from a previous event or whatever it might be. And I can imagine holding an instrument in your hands since it's such a young age and trying to learn how to own a riff or own a song or whatever it might be. I wonder if there's a parallel path in there too. And that's, that's something that I, I could maybe see from my side where you get real competitive with yourself and uh, it just kind of get caught up in your own thing and perfect your craft independently in some ways. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Scott. Well, I, I mean, there, there were, for one thing, we didn't go on a, a real, a true major tour until I was 26 years old. So wow. similar thing. Wow. That's, that's late. You know, we were, we were in bands from, you know, since I was very young, I was in a band, but I never really hit the road until I was 26. So I'm said similar at that point, all those ideas about, Oh, I got to be famous by the time I'm 20. Those funny little, you know, those really small dreams that don't, they're not about the actual you. They're about what you think is supposed to happen. Those were gone. It's like, that's not happening. It now, what is it that you're going after? And so we had times that were like those failures where we weren't quote unquote winning. It's a different kind of competition. I agree with you. It's like a, it's like competing against yourself, but we had people literally telling us we sucked, you know, like while we were, and we were doing it in front of people. And that was in a way feeding our, uh, that competition you say with yourself, you know, it was kind of yeah. like, okay, what have I got in me to get back up there? in that town that I know that guy or that lady is going to come out and say that, uh, here I go again. And, uh, how will I, will I, is it about me getting better at my instrument or doing something better that they said I sucked at, or is it about me getting up there because I don't care what they think <laughs> I'm going to get up there and do my thing. You know, and what's so cool. I've always respected about you guys. It's not that you just play a instrument or that you just sing, but I love it when it's just you two and you have your, snare and kick drum and harmonica and banjo guitar like you guys can stomp the floor like it is so incredible <laughs> you two just go I love a, lot, a lot of that a lot of that just came out of the necessity of, of trying to to make as much noise as possible you know <laughs> and just you know uh, just utilize every limb you know it's it, i don't i don't i don't know that we have any sort of special coordination with that but it was like man you know my my left foot's not doing anything let's just put you know, some, some piece of percussion beneath there we'll just you know duct tape a tambourine to your leg there and then we'll make some more racket and then more people will stop maybe that are walking by or maybe more yeah. people will run faster yeah. 